All right, so <coughs> what I'm going to show in this tutorial is how you would take, say, a pipe and then extrude an elbow uh, turn, an elbow pipe fitting, say, on the end of it. Um, now, I want to ask here if anybody actually knows a better way to do this, please let me know because through all my research, um, I haven't been able to find a better way to do this uh, aside from an add-on that I might cover in another tutorial. But as far as like built into Blender, um, I don't really know a better way to do this. So anyway, I'm going to go to the cube. I'm just going to delete it. And then I'm going to hit Shift A and I'm going to add in a cylinder. And it doesn't have any ends on it. And then I'm going to rotate it on the X 90 degrees so that from the front view you can see through here. I'm going to go to the side view. And then I'm going to scale it in the Y just to kind of make a pipe, like a long pipe, okay? All right, now what we want to do uh, is select this edge ring here and then uh, move the cursor to that point and then go to top view and then add in, oops, let me go to object mode here, and then add in a Bezier curve. All right. I'm going to rotate the curve 90 degrees and then I'm going to uh, scale it in the X so that it looks like that. And then the, the Bezier curve has got a point here which I'm going to move to the cursor and then this point I'm going to just move down and I'm going to move it back here. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees and I'll just go ahead and scale this handle up until it's kind of somewhat flat right there. All right, And uh, I could actually grab this point and just kind of move it like this. So Anyway, so now we've got the Bezier curve, and um, this is where I would like to extrude it. Now, yeah, I can't just directly extrude it on this path, which I really wish I could. So this is how I have uh, been doing it. So I'm going to select this edge ring here, and then I am going to um, duplicate it with Shift-D, and then I'm going to hit P, and I'm going to make it a separate object. Okay, and so this now is, is still a mesh item, and so if I hit Alt-C, then I can turn it into a curved. Right here. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and name it Circle. Oops. And just out of habit, I always do both. All right, so just so I don't get confused. So I'm going to grab this Bezier curve here, and then I'm going to go to the, the data panel. And then under bevel object, I'm going to select circle. Okay. And so, you know, it has the same effect as if I extruded it. It's just a lot more steps than you would think it would take. With this now selected, um, you know, I, I mean, it doesn't really do me any good because this is all based off of a curve. So I want to take it back to a mesh object. So I'm going to hit Alt C and then I'm going to change it back to a mesh object here. So here we go. Next thing we need to do is um, join the two together. And I'm also going to go in here. I've got this circle right here. I can delete that. I don't need that. So I've got these two items. All right, so I'm just going to uh, go to face view here. I'm going to hold down Alt and uh, right click and drag. I wasn't, wasn't close enough here to to clear that and then I'll hit shift alt and do that same on this one right here and then just hit X and then delete the faces alright and then I'm going to select both of these objects I'm going to hit control J to join them together and then I want to select this ring and this ring and you just hold down alt while you're right clicking to select the whole ring and then just hold down shift and alt and then right click to do the same thing hit the W key, I'm going to say bridge edge loops, like so. And then I'm going to just go ahead and delete this edge loop right here by hitting X and delete that edge loop. 
Now you can see it looks really weird, and that's because we I still need to recalculate the normals. And so if you go into the, uh, let's see which one is it? Shading UVs. There it is. Recalculate. So now it looks, you know, it looks a lot better. You can see how many steps this takes just to get this this effect. And um, so, like, like I said, if anybody has, you know, a, a way that I can just directly extrude it along a path, I would love to know. Um, and then it's still not perfect, so I'm just gonna just select it and move it down just a little bit like that. So, you know, it looks kind of kind of normal. And then I'll, you can tell here that uh, it's not all uh, smooth. So now it is. Anyway, so that's just a little brief tutorial on one method of basically a workaround for extruding a pipe and making an elbow joint. And uh, if you find a better way, please let me know. Thank you.